Today we're going to talk about the three most talked about golf balls in golf at the moment. So the three balls that we're going to be talking about are the Shrixen, the TaylorMade and the Callaway. We're going to talk what the balls are, what the benefits are of them, how they actually perform and my thoughts on them. Let's get stuck into it. So what are all these three golf balls? Well, all of them feature urethane covers to get soft feel around the greens. You want that spin, you want that responsiveness when you are chipping, pitching and putting and each one of these offers it. They've also got different cores inside of them, but they're all aimed at getting those faster speeds with our longer game. So when we're using our drivers, hybrids, long irons, fairway woods, the way the cores are designed, they're all designed to help us achieve maximum speeds with that, whilst the urethane cover then lets us get that soft feel from it. And then the big story behind all of them is all to do with the alignment aids. So we've got different ones from each one. With the Callaway one, I would say the most understated one, we see the triple track technology, a red line and two blue lines as we're going through it. This one doesn't go all the way around the golf ball. It's basically half of the golf ball as we go through it. And it matches up to Odyssey's triple track technology as well that we see in the putters. Now, you can actually use it off the tee if you're looking to point the golf ball in a certain direction for where the fairway would be. If you're using it to try and hit a certain part of the golf ball, maybe you're a slicer, you want to try and hit more of the inside of the golf ball as opposed to the outside of the golf ball, that is what the triple track there is aimed at. When we move into the Taurus fonts, we see that, again, it's got something very similar. This time, it's got the 360 clear path. So this one goes all the way around it and it's got a few different colors and a little bit more going on. We see the red, and li uh, red line and blue lines from the Callaway one, but what we get here is this sort of neon tennis ball green color all the way around with some smaller dots outside and then some more lines on the middle. So for this one, again, all about alignment, making sure that you can align the putter face correctly, making sure that you can align your driver, your fairway wood, whatever it may be, to the intended target as you go through. And then probably the most shocking one of them all, or the most standout one, would be the Q-Star. Again, you're a thin cover, it's got that core to give us quick speeds, but then from here we're seeing the 360 all the way around it and it's basically split into two colors we've got the yellow we've got the blue they do come in other colors as well i think it being a yellow and an orange so you do have options there but like i say all aimed at helping you aim now as i took these out on the golf course they do just that i would say for myself i found that the tailor made was the best one for lining up it just suited my eye i found that having sort of this big thick barrier really aligned with how my putter sits and it allowed me to square the face up and I've actually been playing a little bit more with this one just after the back of filming this video and found that really it does wind me up very very well and really speaks to my eye when I get into that alignment. The Strixen one, what I found with this one, the alignment, again it is good to line it up, it's basically just like having a a black ring or a, a drawn line all the way around. But what I would notice with this one, yeah. if I didn't get my stroke working, this one was wobbling all over the place and you could see that it was giving me more feedback in that result. You would get some from the clear path, but it's glaringly obvious when you haven't got an end over end put with the Strixen one. Again, from a sort of coaching side as well on the alignment aids, I would say this one, if I was really trying to demonstrate hitting on a certain part of the ball, i.e. outside and inside, if I was a slicer of the golf ball, let's say, and I was trying to hit more from the inside as I was teeing off to you, I think this ball would really be glaringly obvious at which point you want to get to. Then the Callaway, again, very understated, and I would say probably the the least intrusive one on the eye as you would go through the alignment process. It's still very good for when you're putting the blade behind the ball and getting you aligned up, but it doesn't really scream at you for alignment like the other two do. You know what you're doing with this one, and this one's jumping off the page as you see it, is where the Callaway feels a little bit more subtle, a little bit more understated. Now that leads me on to when you're not putting with the golf balls. As I took them out and I was hitting shots on the golf course, one of the things that I've heard from other videos, a Rick Shields, a James Robinson, and other 
great videos that are out there is all about the the lines when they're not being used when you're on the fairway when you're chipping when you can't move the golf ball on the tee and on the putting surface that they're, they're a little bit off putting them for me I, I i didn't really find that i didn't stand there thinking oh well that ball's pointing off at 45 degrees from where i want to be aiming I now can't align myself up. I just focus more back towards where my club was aiming. It wasn't too much of a distraction. And I think after playing maybe two, three rounds, maybe a week with a certain golf ball, um, it wouldn't really, wouldn't really bother you that much. I think it's more just for on that tee and on the putting green, these balls come into their own. You know, obviously we can draw our, our lines on it, but especially these two, when using them on the putting green, they really do jump out at you. That leads me on to, well, how do they all perform? Obviously, we've got a golf ball in all of them that has a urethane cover. They've all got mantles and cores that are designed to get us the best ball speeds. And you know what? Between the three of them, I didn't see hardly any difference at all. Seeing great numbers, from when I tested them on the GC2. We were seeing that um, the Callaway actually was the shortest with my irons. Now I would say that I probably hit a few duff ones, but then as we got into the driver test, the Callaway came out on top. We were seeing great ball speeds with all these. We were seeing that on average, they were hovering around the 162 mark, 163 mark in the driver speeds. And when we got into the seven iron, we were seeing the numbers that I would expect to see. I was seeing 180 yards as an average for the three, for my seven iron distances at 122 miles per hour club head speed. From a ball of this construction as well, I was getting that nice feel when I was chipping and pitching around the greens. It was really biting up nice. It felt responsive. It felt nice and soft off the club face. It felt good when I was putting with it. One of the, the complaints I would have with maybe a non-premium golf ball is that they felt very springy in the past. They felt like they were really shooting off the club face and you didn't feel like there was much friction there and you were getting much grab. But from all these golf balls, they did feel that they were actually getting a nice bit of bite and seeing some really nice check and spin on those as we were going through them. In terms of the putting, felt great off the face and actually sounded very nice. One other thing to bear in mind is the price of all these golf balls. We know that they're coming in under the premium offering of all these brands. So we're seeing on average that they're about $29.99, but you are getting the performance pretty much of a premium golf ball from all of these brands there. But that leads me on to my real question about these. I think the balls are great. They really do help your alignment. And if someone is out there looking for a ball to help their alignment, I would suggest trying these. For me, the tailor-made has really stood out and I'm probably actually gonna try and use this a little bit more because with putting, it's really helping me focus in. But will we see that clear path, that divide and triple track actually stick around? Will we see that even tour response and Q star actually get as much attention as the premium offering? Now, I think triple track holds its own because it's not as offensive. It's not as in your face as the other two. So I can see that, you know, even professionals, we see the likes of Phil Mickelson would use something like the triple track. But could you see Rory using a clear path golf ball? Could you see Brooks using a divide golf ball? I'm not too sure. And that's what worries me a little bit because they're such good golf balls, but will sales figures maybe because they don't get as many sales because they are quite in your face and quite garish will people not buy them and then all of a sudden we don't see them in the next year it'll be interesting to see where these golf balls are in a year but overall i think they're all fantastic golf balls if you're looking for a little bit of subtle alignment i'd maybe go for the triple track if you want something that stands out a little bit more but isn't too ott I'd maybe go down this 360 clear path from the tour response really helps with your putting there. But if you're really looking for something that jumps off the page, really helps you focus in on a certain part of the golf ball, I think the Q star tour divide would be the one for you. But you know what? You've got to go out there. You've got to test all of them. And for me, like I say, I'm probably going to spend a little bit more time with this tailor made because 
that clear path is really starting to help my putting at the moment. So those are the three most talked about golf balls that we're seeing on the market at the moment. The Callaway triple track, the TaylorMade with its clear path and the Trixon with its divide golf ball. Go and test them out, see which one you like and maybe you might have a new golf ball in your bag. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have as well, comment down below. What would you like to hear most talked about feature next? Would it be three drivers under the 300 pound mark? Would it be the most talked about mid handicap irons? Let us know, hit us in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you in your next video.